Peter, I have uh, I have very interesting data that's come in. You know, most people want an end to the war. I mean, it's a thousandth day, right? I remember the day it happened. We were in bed here in India. It was uh, a little after 2 a.m., 3 a.m. when the story broke when we saw the first missiles being launched. It's been 1,000 days, right? How many lives have been lost? And to think that the so-called uh, the world's most powerful nation, right? Now, they don't want an end to wars. They don't want an end to this madness that's going on, right? Let me give you a poll data that I have. And my question is to Tara. I have a poll data that's just come in, been reported. It's a Gallup poll. It's a survey conducted between August and October. And for the first time since the war, since 1,000 days, you have most Ukrainians wanting the war to end as soon as possible. Ukrainians are saying enough is enough. Ukrainians are saying we don't want a war, right? Trump is saying we don't want a war. Most people around the, around the world are saying we don't want a war. The Indian Prime Minister wants an end to the war. Indians want an end to the war. It's crazy that there is a man called Joe Biden and there is a Ukrainian president called Zelensky. These two, these two men want the war to go on, maybe risk at the risk of uh, you know, having a nuclear war. I just got, got this poll come in and let me also tell you, only 38%, Tara, I want you to take this forward, only 38% believe that their country should continue fighting for victory. Almost half compared to the 73% who expressed their opinion in 2022. So today, most Ukrainians saying they want a negotiated end to this war. Well, that's hardly surprising given the kind of, as you said, the, the tragedy that has gone through for what was once a prosperous state. I mean, it, this was a country which was living peacefully and well. And look what's happened to them. It's somewhere there has to be accountability as to how did this happen. And the, the point I want to make is, I, I, I think Zelensky can be sort of, his position is that if the, as long as the war goes on, he goes on. I think if the war stops, I'm not sure how long Zelensky will last. And that poll is probably providing that answer. Having said that, it's not as if Russia is a, you know, has a halo on its head or anything of the kind. Russia has done its own share of absolute, you know, I mean, how can you bring in North Korean troops? That is ridiculous. But it is at least reined in, as it said. It's not gone all out in terms of attacking civilians and all the rest of it. That apart, I think there is an Indian role here to get this war to stop. There is, we have to, it's hurting us. There is a moral aspect well, to it in terms of these people dying and it's hurting us. So I think the, uh, Prime Minister Modi should use his influence to try and, you know, break this thing, stop it before it gets out of hand. Peter, the question here is also about the role of NATO. When the war began, it was largely about whether at all Ukraine is